Cause I make so many beats. So I be I could be in the club and listening like, damn, why ain't I don't remember doing this one, but this a, this he got one right here. Right. Then it'd be somebody else tag come on like, damn, boy, you stole my whole everything. Everything. Well, I almost fooled you. But it fooled me, no. It's been a lot of them that fooled me. So but you know, I mean that's part of the game and I feel like the generation that's that's coming up now, you know, I mean I I, I will say I'm flattered because they doing it to the T, you know, and people look at it like this is my way to get in, this is how I can get on. Yep, and let us know when you bump station is out on 7-9. You dirty Jenny Flies got on the radio. DJ Cash, the Fly Haitian Kid. Yeah, it ain't famous Friday, stars in the A-Town, but we got a famous individual in the building. Some people say he's uh, responsible for trap music. Um, hey. Some of the hardest tractors out that's been out. The the savior, the God, oh, no. the bass God, <laughs> the key God. And he ain't taking the church. Say Thomas in the building, ladies and yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's, What's up, up, man? Right. Boy, you put a lot on it. Man. Say Daisy. <laughs> you got to, man. You've been doing a big thing. You still represent God over everything. Yeah. Keep that on your chest. Yes, sir. Tell me about your tell me about your background as far as like in the church, as far as like instruments that you play. Uh, well, background in church is, you know, that's what I, I, I grew up in. It's, I still do that. Like, I just, you know, got, uh, had, I had to uh, miss choir rehearsal tonight to come here. Wow. You know what I mean? But I'm still at church uh, every Sunday, man, Tuesdays for rehearsal. And that's how my up, you know, that's my upbringing. And that's how I started doing music. So, you know, it's definitely a, a big part of what I got going on. Do you feel like it's a balance considering that? And this, I, I just want to know your, your answer. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's a, it, it's a balance from just, you just having a relationship with God mm -hmm. and being in church, but then majority of the beats that you uh, actually yeah. produce yeah. are used of people that people would say in the church would be like the worldly people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever have a conflict with that? or? or? Uh, no, nah, man, not really. I felt like, I feel, I used to question that. Like, damn, man, how in the world I'm like a church boy? Well, how in the world I'm like the trap guy when it comes to making beats of music? Right. You know what I mean? Or the godfather of the, the trap music that's going on today. And I just felt like, you know, maybe God put me in in this position or put me around these certain people to help kind of shed a light or be a certain example to, you know, a lot of people. Right. Lot of, you know what I mean? A lot of these people, you know what I mean? They, don't, they ain't seen nothing else. They don't know nothing else. Even what they rapping about, they come from something different than what I come from. Right. So, I, you know, I feel like I'm the type of person that want to come in and influence somebody. I don't let people influence me, so. Mm. You know. I think it's important, too, that, you know, whether a story is good or bad or a person left their life good or bad you giving them the opportunity to tell that story exactly. you know what i mean so i guess Over it's the like right music you know what i mean that music is it really just sets the atmosphere for whatever it is you want to talk about whether you you know singing gospel music whether you rapping about the streets you know whatever it is so and i you know i'm the guy to just pro provide that you know that instrumentation that environment at, at what point in your career mm -hmm. that's my question at what point in your career did you really realize like yo i got something like I really got something like every time because I remember it was a time where anything that came out the east side if it wasn't Zaytoven beat yeah. Zaytoven didn't do the beat it wasn't, it wasn't knocking making no noise. you know what I'm saying and I even then man back then it took forever for me to realize that I was even supposed to be in the music business if I was gonna make it as a producer I kept feeling like man like when So Icy came out oh that was a fluke that ain't gonna happen again so that, I got lucky and, and did that so I'm back at the barbershop when all the other songs came out I remember having Usher the number one song in the country at the time Papers Papers I'm still at the barbershop cutting hair like damn man that was luck boy I, you know I was, <laughs> see I think when I heard <laughs> Papers I was like that boy Zay Telvin out of here yeah <laughs> that ain't Gucci man that ain't that ain't that's something different right. that's, that's Usher that's Usher and I still felt like man that ain't gonna happen no more then Versace came and I'm still like, well, hold on, man. It's starting to, it might be, Wait, you know. Oh, it took you to Versace? <laughs> it took me to Versace to get out of the barbershop because that's how the type of person I am. Like, you know, I, I believe in stability and I believe in, you know, because I, you know, I didn't seen my parents work all their life. I didn't been around people that do, you know, nine to fives and they, you know, they live their life a structured way. So that's the way I was living my life. So when all this music stuff started happening and big things started happening, I felt like, dang, that's a blessing, but I don't feel like it's going to keep happening. You know, it mm. took me to Versace to say, you know what? I can't do nothing else <laughs> but this now. I can't go to the barbershop no more. I'm too famous. Everybody want to come in and take pictures, drop off their CDs. So it took me to the end to be like, you know what? I, done, I forced myself out of living a regular life or, you know, just mm. being at the barbershop or having a nine to five because I can't do it no more. Yeah. I would like to. I love being in the barbershop. I had loved it. I ain't want to leave, right. but I was forced out of it. So. 